This is a seminar for Module C, Unit 1, Lesson 5. The topic is the nervous system. There are two main parts of the nervous system. Your nervous system is composed of the central nervous system, which is abbreviated CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, which is abbreviated PNS. Notice when you look at this diagram on the right side of the screen here how complex the nervous system is and that the nerves stretch all the way through the body and they branch into smaller um, parts similar to your circulatory system to reach all the different parts of the body. The central nervous system is made up of your brain and spinal cord. It's responsible for sending messages to and from the peripheral nervous system and everything the central nervous system does is involuntary. You don't have to think about um, breathing or moving individual muscles to walk across the room. The brain has three main parts. This big pink part is the cerebrum. It's responsible for thinking, problem solving, sensation, so uh, feeling what is around you, feeling hot or cold. And then the cerebellum down here, this white part with lines, is responsible for processing information from the body. The brain stem here is responsible for involuntary processes. So it controls things like breathing, your heartbeat, um, food digestion, those sorts of things. And then the brain stem connects directly to the spinal cord, which runs the length of your torso. The spinal cord is really fragile. It's surrounded by a tube of a hollow tube of bones that make up your spine, all your different vertebrae stacked together to protect the spinal cord. Um, and if it's damaged, that's not something that's easy to repair. So people whose spinal cord is damaged might end up paraplegics and lose the use of their legs, or even quadriplegics and also use lose the use of their arms. Sometimes um, quadriplegics need help breathing even. And it depends on where the spinal cord is damaged and the extent of the damage. The peripheral nervous system um, controls the sensory and the motor parts of your body. So it controls things like your sense of, it is involved in things like your sense of smell and touch, and it's what actually moves your arms and legs when you want to move. It connects the central nervous system to your muscles and to your organs. So it's all these yellow branches that you see extending throughout the body. The peripheral nervous system sends information to the central nervous system. It sends and responds to changes in the environment. And then it is both voluntary and involuntary. So there are some things that you think about doing, like walking across a room, and some things that you don't think about doing. If you touch a hot stove, um, you have something called a reflex that will, your peripheral nervous system jerks your hand away so you don't get burned by the hot stove. Your brain doesn't have to process what's happening and think about changing the situation. The nervous system is made up of neurons, like this cell pictured here to the right. A neuron is a cell that moves messages as electrical impulses, uh, electrical energy that's called an impulse. It's made up of the cell body, this large purple part, the axon, that's this yellow um, section here, and then dendrites. Those are the finger-like extensions from the cell body. And the end here, um, the very tip is called the axon terminal. So the dendrites gather information from other nervous cells. Um, the cell body collects that information and then sends the message along the axon. And at the axon terminal, it joins with dendrites from another cell and passes on those messages. So it's the axon that sends the, Im the impulses. The axon is protected by something called the myelin sheath that kind of insulates it. Neurons can be really long and stretch great distances through your body and then they connect in um, chains. The sensory organs are responsible for your five senses. Your eyes see, your skin is responsible for your sense of touch. It's full of lots and lots of lots of nerve endings, um, especially in places like your fingertips that are more sensitive. Your ears are responsible for hearing. Your tongue is responsible for taste. And then your nose is responsible for smelling. It has special cells called olfactory cells. And then there are different nerves that are responsible for these different senses. Then your endocrine system is made up of glands that are found all over the body. 
Um, there are things like your thyroid gland, pituitary gland, and thymus. Those glands release hormones that are um, chemical signals that travel through your bloodstream. They regulate body functions like growth, sleep, and metabolism. So a hormone is a type of chemical messenger. The pituitary gland secretes hormones that control things like growth. Right now, as an adolescent, your pituitary gland is very active. Um, different glands, like I said, control sleep. So they'll secrete more hormones to help you relax and fall asleep at night. Um, and then each hormone works by um, sending a message to what's called a target cell. Only a target cell has a receptor that can receive that message. If a cell doesn't have the receptor for that hormone, then it just ignores the message. So it works kind of like pieces of a puzzle. Um, that receptor fits into the, um, or the hormone fits into the receptor on the target cell, and that's how it's able to accept and process the message. And then it uses um, feedback mechanisms, the body does. So positive feedback keeps the cycle going, negative feedback turns it off. So when you get, when you're eating and you're full, there's a negative feedback mechanism um, that helps to regulate your blood sugar and release the control of insulin. During childbirth, the example in the book is about a hormone called oxytocin that causes the body to contract. Um, and as childbirth starts, then the body releases more and more oxytocin to continue that process. So again, positive feedback keeps the cycle going, negative feedback stops it. Those are the notes for Mod C, Unit 1, Lesson 5 on the nervous system.